20 makeup fail products from 20 brands i thought it was going to be under 20 minutes but it ended up not being so this is part two let's get into part two right now All right, friends, so what happened was, is when I edited this video, it was like an hour and a half long. I got it down to 40 minutes. Even at 40 minutes, I felt like I was being really rushed and there was no way to be able to get you guys to stick around for 40 minutes. So I know some of you love that, but many of you don't. So 20 minutes seemed a lot more doable. So I split it in two. This is the second part. So what you're gonna see is me in another shirt, but also you're gonna see me in this shirt. But I am so gonna do a time stamp right here where the actual review of those products will do will be where i talk about the fails and then i talk about the alternatives to the fails and interject those as well if you don't want to see what i'm wearing if you don't want to hear about it just skip over it right here i don't blame you just skip over it right here and then go to the meat of the video first of all we always talk about what i'm wearing today i am wearing one of my favorite tops i love this top for being a little bit more dressy i like the color of it for one thing i love this teal color it's one of my favorite colors in the actual video that you're seeing right here of me demonstrating it i'm also showing you that i'm on these super stretchy pants which match the top so well because they are in a teal i love these pants they stretch and they are fantastic and they are elastic waist which i need so much these days because you know i'm menopausal and all of those good things all those fun things we get into so the top is kind of a crisscross design over and it has a lot of ruching on it which helps hide your tummy which i need as well you know along with the stretchy pants i need that i also have this set of jewelry on and i really love this this was not a set that i bought together it's separate but i really I do like it the earrings are a turquoise earring with a gold kind of a brushed gold accent to them and they almost look like an arrowhead design which i just think is so pretty and the actual necklace itself is beads and they're just so pretty they're kind of twisted beads different colors and then they ha it has a round pendant right here with almost a peacock design across it across the top of it right here and i just really like it it's almost like a moon color look thing to it and i just feel it really thought it was really pretty and i thought they went really well together and as always i'll have all of the makeup listed below that i'm wearing any of the jewelry that i'm wearing the fingernail polish the shirt all of that will be listed and linked below and right here will come up a number and that number is going to go one from two however many we're doing today um, we're going to 20 so we're actually going to pick this up in part two so we're going to pick this up in number 11 and then we're going to go through number 20 so that you can see part two's products instead of getting confused with the one through 10 that was in part one so i will put up a number right here it will correspond with the product that i'm holding up all you have to do is remember that you liked the number you don't have to remember the product go down into this description box look up number three and across from number three will be the product there'll be any color that i used there'll be the link and you can shop that way so let's get into this video so that you can see what these products actually were okay because of how that video got edited you get me for just a second and then you get past me in just a minute so we'll do this morphe has this pencil that i came across and I was really excited to find another pencil because I'm always looking for these brow highlighters or these stick highlighters and I wanted to this one to work so much for me because I do like the concept of having a pencil that you can use right underneath your eyebrow or in the inner corner but what I didn't like about this is that it was yellow the other thing that I really didn't like that much about this is that it was so creamy that it almost seemed to go away too quickly especially if I ever used it in the inner corner which when I used it in the inner corner because it was so yellow, it just didn't work. It was a little bit too emollient, a little bit too much. I just, I, I am really fussy when it comes to that particular pencil. And many of you know why. And this is the one that I'm using up right now. This is the Benefit Highbrow. This one is in the color light. Right now, Benefit has changed over this from being just a pencil that is a matte pencil in the colors to being both the matte and the highlighter on one side or the other, you know, matte on one side, highlighter on the other side. So I love that and I bought one and it's ready for me to be done with this one, but I'm trying to use this up. This is the light colored one. I like that it's pink. 
Um, I know that they have two other colors and I'm sure they're more warm. They're more um, along the lines of a little bit yellow. Maybe not. Maybe they're more pink. I'm not sure. But this one just works so well because it does blend so easy. And I always use it just there underneath my brow to kind of make my brow look a little bit more uniform, but to make a distinction between the eyeshadow that I have and the eyebrow and then make that look a little bit lifted with the luge the illusion of light oh, this is fantastic you could also almost use this as a primer and then it would cancel out any of the darkness on your eyelid dust a little bit of powder on it you'd be good to go you could use that as a one and done product i think it would be really good for that so that's my first one now you get to see future me and you get to see the other nine products let's go first of all i bought this mascara from makeup revolution it's called their lift and define 5d waterproof mascara at first I was really like as I was putting this mascara on I liked this a lot it defined my lashes I was like ooh this is probably going to be my new favorite mascara and I was so excited because at the end of the day there was no flaking no smudging I was like oh my goodness then I went to take the sucker off and glue on my lashes I mean I was afraid to even rub my lashes any more than I already had. So I just was like, I'm leaving this till morning. I put an oil, you know, kind of around my eyes to kind of try and, you know, work on it overnight. And a little bit more came off that night, but I had it still on. It was like a two day mascara. And I couldn't put more mascara on because I was afraid of what it was gonna do to my lashes. This was so bad as far as trying to get it off. And that will ruin your lashes so fast, you will hate it. So yeah, that was not good. So I revert almost all the time to telling you guys about my favorite ever Essence Mascara, and it's not a Lash Princess. This is the 24 Ever Bold Volume Mascara. And I have a whole video on this that I did that I feel like this is a way better mascara than probably nine out of 10 mascaras on the market that are high end or luxury. It's the best. I love the silicone brush. I know a lot of you don't. It's a little bit curved, but I do like the definition and how it, you know, separates each and every lash because I don't have a ton of lashes, but I can get my lashes longer. So I love this. I think it is one of those ones that is knock it out of the park. Great. Fantastic. And it comes off really easy at the end of the day, but it won't, you won't have any smudging and you won't have any flaking from it. And yeah, Essence did a great job on this. So that leads me into why I was talking about that mascara before I talked about this eyeliner. This is the 24 ever bold ink liner from Essence. Okay. You got the mascara. You got a hit there. I'm thinking, you're gonna have another hit with this. All right, first of all, pretty good on the little felt tip there. Not super big. I was I was great with that. But I can never get this to look on my eye line like it's not bleeding everywhere. You guys know I do have the shaking, but I don't normally have too big of a problem with my eyeliner. But this, it just makes too thick of a line and it kind of spreads out. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that or not, but it just does, it kind of bleeds out and oh no, that's not gonna happen. So in comes my new love from Maybelline. <laughs> I love Maybelline, you guys know how much I love Maybelline as a brand, period. But Maybelline has this Hyper Easy Brush Tip Liner. Oh my goodness, first of all, has the teeny tiniest little bitty pin right there. It's so tiny, I love that. And the other thing is it does not bleed. So I'm trying to make a line and I did not do a good job because my hand skipped, but it doesn't bleed. And that's what's great. It kind of just sets down to a mat almost immediately. You can get a, uh, you know, build it up and make it a lot more intense if you need that. But this one is the waterproof one. I always go for waterproof whenever I'm looking for this kind of thing. And that's what I thought the essence was going to be. But it just wasn't. It was just icky, icky poo. And I could not handle it. So, whew, in comes Maybelline for the win. Yeah, we're so glad about that. Our really next like product that. is one that was sent to me as well. <laughs> Do you see a theme? All right, Derma Blends CC Cream Continuous Correction Cream. It has an SPF of 50. It's supposed to be really good for your skin. It is supposed to be all that and some more. So it has coverage, correction, and protection. Um, it has refrat re refratical, free radical defense, non com, com non cosmetic 
Okay, forget that. I'm not saying that. Up to 24 hour plus color wear. Okay, so here's the thing. This was so cakey. It's so thick, so cakey. It's nothing like the It's CC Cream. The It's CC Cream blows this out of the water, and I'm not even a huge fan of the It's CC Cream. And instead of, this is my favorite CC Cream. It's not considered an actual CC Cream. However, this is the number seven Protect and Perfect Advanced All-in-One Foundation, hydrating, age-defying, medium coverage, sunscreen, broad spectrum SPF 50, suitable for sensitive skin. I have mine in cool ivory, and I think that I also wear cool beige. I'm not exactly sure. I'll make sure that it's linked down below. But yeah, this is so beautiful. This is what I have on all over my skin today. And this is a beautiful foundation. This is one of like my top five foundations of all time at the drugstore. However, for me, and it says it's suitable for sensitive skin. My skin is very sensitive since I went into menopause. I can wear this all day. It is just gorgeous, but it doesn't feel cakey. It doesn't settle. It just Oh, I just love it so much. And it's definitely a hundred times better than this. And I believe that it's better than the It's CC Cream. Another yeah. product that I used to love this. Um, this is the Rimmel Radiance Brick. I used to love this. I used to wear this all the time. And I don't know if they've changed their formula or if things have just, I've just gotten, you know, a different taste for makeup or what, but this just doesn't work for me anymore. So it's like a radiance brick. It's got lighter and then it gradiates to darker, but it's not very dark at all. Even when I'm going up here in the darkest part, it's not very dark at all. I mean, it's just a light orange. And I apologize that my arms are darker than my hands because... I haven't tanned lately and that's what happens. But yeah, so that is just, it's like an, an orange that just doesn't work for me. The other thing, it's super powdery. Like, well, I, let's find what we like better. And I really do love the Flower Beauty's Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer. And this one is in the color Sunrise. It's a baked product like Laura Geller's baked product is, which I love, but this is smoother even than Laura Geller's and I like it. And the other thing, this has like a red cool tone base to it that works so good on my skin because I like to have that little bit more of a cool tone than just orange on you. It's not powdery. It feels buttery. It feels soft. It blends so easy on your skin and warms up your skin so well. I am wearing a little bit of it dusted around today and it just works so good. I just wish that they would come out with a color that was also a little bit redder undertone with a little bit deeper tone to it. That's one thing that I know these brands are working on, but they better get their butts in gear and they better be a little bit more inclusive or they're going to start losing a lot of fans. All right, Kosu. Kosas, as most of you know, is my ride or die under eye concealer brand. Well, they came out with this 10 second eye. And again, I got sent these 10 second eye. I was super excited about one thing that I was really put off about almost immediately, though, was their lack of colors between this. So that was like it was just a bunch of kind of warm toned colors except for that very light color and it's still got a lot of gold in it this was just one that immediately disappointed me as soon as i put it on i could tell that there was not going to be a lot of color coverage there i put it on my eye it didn't even show like there was anything on my eye and it didn't matter which color i put on there it couldn't be built up it was just like there's you're just putting water on your eye and wait for the water to dry so this was a huge disappointment for me however sephora charged up long wear liquid eyeshadow this particular one is in ca called striking so i just put like two swipes on just like i just did the kosis and you can see how much better the pigment is on that it goes on your eye it dries down it doesn't flake and then i also have it of course in light purple color which i love and this one is called shocking and this one is so beautiful if you are somebody that rocks colors and you like it there's two swipes and yeah, it's just so pretty. They're very reflective. They're very metallic and they do a great job. And I just put that over top of the Kosas, but you can see what it's like. It's just so pretty. So yeah, if you want a liquid eyeshadow that you can bank on, it's this Sephora one. It's really good. It's going to last all day. It's going to be there when you take off your makeup at night. 
so very good and I really love that they have such a great color range in there too. Let's next talk about one that I was really disappointed in. I don't like to not like the things that e.l.f. puts out and again I was sent this. I'm gonna be in so much trouble if I don't stop. I think this is their glazed lipstick. I'm not sure because I can't see anything on the bottom and I don't have my phone over here. I'll just put it right here on the bottom so you guys can see what it is. So I was a little bit, okay, this is all right, but this was a really weird formula. I thought it was going to be something that was more glossy. It really had no pigment to it, as you can see, hardly any pigment there at all, a little bit, but it also, it just dried down and then I felt like my lips were just drying out and I was so disappointed in it. So of course, I immediately thought of the Maybelline Lip Vinyls. You know how much I love these because they've been in several videos and I should tell you what colors these are before I start swatching. So this color right here is called Koi. This is probably my favorite color and you'll know why as soon as I put it on. It's got a little bit of a lavender color in there. It's so pretty. Koi is just gorgeous. The formula on these is going to feel a little bit tacky, but after you have these on for about an hour, you're gonna still have the moisture and the gloss on, but you're not going to have a dryness and you also get the pigmentation from here. This is a color that you can only get at Target. This is called Restless. I did not know this, but Rest uh, Restless, Target has like three or four or five colors that they teamed up with Maybelline over that they just sell just at Target. So if you're looking for new colors of it and you're thinking, why isn't Maybelline bringing out new colors? Head on over to Target. I'll make sure it's all linked below and you'll be able to find those other colors. Let's go into Say. This is a concealer, again, that was sent to me. So much trouble. This, okay, this concealer, it's a serum concealer. It's extremely light. It has hardly any wear to it and it will just disappear on your skin. It's not going to give you coverage. This I would say is probably a concealer for someone that just wants to have hydration underneath there and a little bit of, I don't I don't even know. I, there's no color to it. Um, so yeah, you can hardly even see that it is even on my hand. It's right here, but it just disappeared. And then what happens with these that disappear, in my opinion, is that they become muddy because you're covering up darkness, right? So if you've got really super darkness that's almost on the side of blue or looking very purple, it goes gray when you put something like this on there that disappears. And then you look like you're half dead and no thank you, I cannot handle that. I'll just skip over that, thank you very much. So I love the NYX Serum Concealer. This is the Bear With Me Serum Concealer. This is the one that everybody, this is a viral concealer. It is a really good concealer. What's beautiful about it is you get this super duper light formula, but you get a super duper beautiful coverage. And I had this on this eye, by the way, on this side. So I wanted to wear those two so you could see, but really pretty, really pretty, covers everything. And again, you're going to have that serum benefit, and, and I'm pretty sure the serum is just hyaluronic acid, so you're gonna have the little bit of plumping. It's not gonna super dry you out during the day, and it's thin enough that it's not going to be cakey on the very most crinkly under eyes. So a lot of people are just absolutely losing their minds over it, and there's a reason. It's just really, really good. The next one that I wanna talk about is from Rose Ink. This is a pretty expensive brand at Sephora that has come along lately. And this one, let me get my glasses so I don't say the wrong thing. This is called Skin Enhancer Luminous Tinted Serum. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but right in there, what that looks like is curdled milk. It looks like, yeah, it looks like, it looks like the not so good milk that's in the fridge after, you know, like two months. So <laughs> you put it on and you have the little curdles come out and <laughs> you rub it around. And as I'm putting it on, it just feels like water. It just feels very watery. And you can see that the pigments kind of burst. Um, so you get the, you're starting to get the pigmentation there. So, you know, you're thinking, okay, that's good, right? Um, and as I'm working it in, or as I'm, you know, working it across my skin, you know, a lot of women just want a tint that's going to kind of even out their complexion without coverage. And you can see that it looks like it's gonna do that, right? So this is lighter color for me. It's not a good color for me, but definitely feels like it's going to do that. So 
here's where I had the problem. In a few minutes, not very long, just in a couple of minutes, this is gonna dry down to where it looks powdery. And it not that it will look like, you know, cream to powder formula or anything like that that looks pretty. This is gonna dry down to where it's going to look powdery and cakey. And no, I cannot do that. Of course, you probably already know what's gonna come up. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Tinted Hydrator. This is so many women's lovely ride or die uh, foundation now. They don't even reach for foundation anymore. They just reach for this. This is one that I only wear on a rare occasion, but it does give that coverage that you need. Um, this, of course, is my light color. It's not the color that I wear when I'm trying to self tan. It perfects so much better than the rose ink one. But the other thing, it's not gonna dry down into that dry, cakey, powdery, look where it just is going to settle into everything and it just it's beautiful on on your skin all day long and i have heard very oily skin people say that they love this i've heard very dry skin people say that they love this so it's very very versatile and i think that that is fantastic about it and i know that you've heard about it so much so i'm not going to continue to go on about it but the coverage on it is so much better and you i don't know if you can see this on camera or not but this already looks super dry and this looks super moisturized and yeah, just so much better. Lastly, I'm going to veer away from makeup, but I had to put this in this video because I really want to warn so many women away from this because I think it's super gimmicky. Um, have you seen this product, which is called SBLA, and it's called the Sculpting Wand, and it, go it comes like this with the like steel um, rollerball right there, and you pump it out and you put it on your skin. I bought every one they had. I don't have the lip one over here because, yeah, I've already decluttered that. I bought every one they had because I thought this is going to be so good. Christy Brinkley, she's rubbing it on her eyes and her eyes look so good. And, you know, you're like, oh, my goodness, that's going to be just beautiful. I'm going to be able to fill in lines and it's going to just look fantastic. This did nothing. And I completely used these up. I'll tell you what the gimmick is on this. It's that steel roller ball in there. That's the cooling effect that you get from it. And that's what people were looking to and that's why they felt like it was giving them so many good benefits i would if it were me i would get my regular skincare i don't care what it is i would go out and i would purchase a, a tool like these these come in a set of two and it's just a little metal ball right there on the end and then this is a scoop right here and this is my pink jade roller tool that i use Buy something like this, put it in your fridge, don't put it in your fridge, and still, you will feel the cooling effects of this. That's what that does, is as you're putting on the product, the cooling effect of the metal on your skin feels amazing because it's cooling, and if you have puffy eyes, it's helping to shrink the capillaries, so it's gonna help depuff. Not only that, as you're rolling things around on there, that helps depuff too, because you're moving the lymphatic system around your eyes, and so that helps with the puffiness around your eyes. That's what the jade roller tool is designed to do is move your lymph system in order to have not so much puffiness around so huh when i actually got this i think i spent maybe 250 maybe more than that on four or five of these products that is a phenomenally expensive amount to me i just wanted to puke I was so upset at that. I'm sorry I wasted all my money on this, but you won't be sorry because I warned you about it. I think that is it. That is the last one. Hope you did enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up. Is there products that you know of out there that you absolutely just did not like, could not get along with? Let me know that in the comment section. I always want to hear from you guys. I love your comments and what we get going as a community down there in the description box or in the comment section, excuse me. So, Thank you. I love you. I will catch you in my next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and let's come around and be together again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.